everyone, uh, Kathy Hines. I just wanted to do a quick video to kind of give you an idea of what it was going to look like to um, complete the numeracy assessment with your students in grades two and three. So if you followed the link uh, that was in the email that I sent earlier, and the link would take you to our coaches page, you would go there and automatically it would take you right to the assessments. You would print off the assessment that you would need for your grade level. So here I have the numeracy screening assessment for grade two. Um, you can print this off and it will have everything in it that you're gonna need. What I then did was I kind of read through what it looked like to administer the test. So unlike the literacy assessments that we have that kind of you need to kind of either work in a very small group or pull them out one at a time, um, this one can be done with your whole class at the same time. You're just going to have to be aware of making sure that they're at the right spot and that they kind of know what they're doing before you proceed past the practice questions. Um, so what I did is I pulled out what you would need. And this would actually be a student booklet. This is a one-to-one. -one. It's not back, uh, it's not a front-to-back kind of photocopy. So it does seem thick, but this would actually have everything that they would need. So if you had one of these booklets prepared for your kids, um, and it just took me about five minutes to pull out the sheets that I'd need for them, I pulled out the um, title pages with it because it just gives you a break moment to say, okay, everyone, now we're going to be on comparing numbers. So as you go through, basically there are five things that you're assessing. Um, the first one is comparing numbers. And basically that's a time test. They have 30 seconds after you do the practice questions with them, they'd have 30 seconds per card. And there's two cards. And basically what they're doing is comparing uh, whether one, uh, what number is, they'll scratch off, which is the higher number. So they're comparing numbers. Um, in the second one, they're writing numbers. So you would say the number, and this is teacher paste. So there's no time um, that you would have to give them, but it's teacher paced. So you would say the number 14, and then they would write the number 14 in the correct space. Um, so teacher paste, um, as well, you're gonna give them the practice numbers first, the practice sheets to do, which are also I included in this booklet, and I'll kind of go through that in a minute. Um, the next one is numbers on a number line. You would do the numbers on the number line the same way. So first you're going to walk them through a couple of practice questions and then you're going to set them off to do it on their own. This one, however, is student paced. So you give them as much time as they need to finish it. Um, on all of these, you do not have them skip anything. Tell them they have to complete every question um, unless it's timed. And then when it's timed is wherever they get, they get. So, but just don't let them skip anything. And you go across in rows. So you do the top row and then you'd go down to the uh, second row and then you'd go across in the second row and that's how you should complete it. Um, the next one is number facts. There's addition and subtraction for grade two and three. So they have 30 seconds for the addition and then they'd have, or sorry, they have 60 seconds for the addition and 60 seconds for the subtraction and they just get as far as they can. Tell them not to skip anything, they have 60 seconds. Um, and of course, again, you would have some practice questions to make sure that they're, um, they know what they're doing and how to mark it. And then the last one is ordering numbers. And this one would be asking them, um, do these numbers uh, continue to increase? So they might give you like, um, say they give you a one, four, and then a two. If they give you a one, four, and two, those numbers are not increasing. One and four increase, but then four to two is a decrease. So then they would mark an X because it doesn't increase. If they had, say, a six, a seven, and a 10, those numbers all increase, so then they would put a check mark. And that one, they have 60 seconds per task sheet um, in order to complete that, so they only get as many done as they can in that amount of time. So like I said, this can be done with your whole class. It would just be about getting the booklet ready. So when I got the booklet ready, I have the comparing numbers, and I did a, um, I'm gonna just kind of move here and shuffle. I did the comparing numbers, and I did a title page. 
And then your second sheet, of course, they're <laughs> going to stick together on me. Your second sheet would be your practice. So this is the one where you can get them to practice. Um, in your assessment um, administration instructions, it does give you like, you know, this is what you could say to the students and this is how you get them started. But here are the instructions. You make sure they know how to do it with the example questions. Then this is their card one. When you're ready to start timing them for comparing numbers, you have them flip it over and then they can start because they know what to do. In each booklet, though, you're going to have to go in and make sure. So you would prepare these booklets ahead of time. And like I said, it didn't take me very long to pull all the papers out to do one. It will take you more time to go through and just make sure you put the student name on it, the date, the school code, grade level, and their um, Alberta school number. So then I just went through it. goes comparing numbers, card one and two. And then... We go to the next test, which is going to be, oh, and it has a little hand that tells them to stop. Now, if you're gonna photocopy that and you're reading word for word, it says start at the green hand, stop at the red hand. If you're not coloring in, if you do not copy in color, then that's not going to work. But uh, you obviously will just use uh, your own directions and to when to start and when to stop. Writing numbers, so the student response sheet is in here. Here's the response sheet. This is when you'd say the number, and then you'd say you'd say the eight, first number A, and you'd say the number 14. So they know to find the A and write 14. And then you'd move to your next one, numbers on the number line. Again, I had a title page, which just gives them a break to know, okay, I'm in the right spot. Again, make sure on every subtest that you are filling out this, and that is what's gonna take the most time. Um, and this is the number line. This is the one though, they do have to, you know, take the time that they need in order to do that. That was the practice questions. And then these are the questions. And I think these questions go to number, I'm gonna say there's 10. Oh, no, there's only five, five questions for that. So that's not bad. And then number facts, and this is your addition. And then again, you have your practice sheets. And then here's their number facts for addition. And remember, they do as many as they can in 60 seconds, and you have them go across, and you just make sure in every subtest that they're not skipping anything. Um, you will then take, we'll take the scoring sheets and we'll, uh, which you'll find in the assessment package. You'll write your raw scores down and that's what we will submit to uh, Alberta Ed. Um, the submission, the way to submit these will be coming next week. I'm just trying to kind of work my way through that and figure that out. Um, but uh, I will have that out to you next week so we know how to submit them and I'm hoping that I'll be able to do it for you, but I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. But like I said, I'll get back to you next week and let you know about that. So please let me know if um, sub time is required um, to do any of this. If you need any other assistance or any clarifying questions, um, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks a lot, guys.